HIT training, that's that's uh, HIT training, that's H double I T, that's high interval. No, it's not, it's high intensity interval training. How simple is that? HIT training, okay, HIT training is H double I T, that's high in. in oh, I'm going. <laughs> How you doing guys? Welcome back to Flash Fitness, I'm Chris Evangelou and today we're going to be talking about how to lose weight in five easy steps. Now step one, I'm going to get you on a treadmill and you're going to run for one hour and then you're going to get off the treadmill and step two is going to be starve yourself. Now I'm only joking, that's not happening. I don't do that, we don't do that here. We're going to go into it now with the five easy steps into losing weight. So you guys have clicked on this video for one reason and that's because you want to lose weight. Now it is a bit of a clickbait title. We're not going to talk about losing weight, we're going to talk about burning body fat and that's what we really want to concentrate on is burning body fat because losing weight can mean anything. It can mean losing fluid in the body, water, it can be losing muscle, it could be losing fat. Who knows what weight is? Weight is just a number on your scales. So I want you to throw your scales away, don't be weighing yourself every day, it's not healthy to do that we're not focusing on that number what we are doing is we want to burn fat and we're going to go into it right now with step one drink more water right when you drink ample amounts of water obviously depending on your body size uh, which is going to determine if you're drinking three liters a day or four liters a day or whatever you do need to drink water throughout the day and there are reasons for this and why it contributes to burning body fat drinking ample amounts of water helps the body with burning stored body fat the other thing it does is it helps your kidneys function correctly so the kidneys are doing their job with enough water going through them and being healthy. If you're not drinking enough water, what your kidneys have to do if they're struggling is pass their job onto the liver to help them out. Now this is where the key thing is. One job of your liver is to burn, help the body burn stored body fat and turn it into energy. If your liver's doing that and then your kidneys say, listen, we need some help and then it's going on to help the kidneys out, you're not gonna be sufficient in burning body fat using your liver. Step two, speed up your metabolism. Now, how do you speed up your metabolism? There's a few things you can do. That's one, be more active. If you're more active, the body's gonna have to burn more calories, therefore your metabolism's gonna have to speed up to then fuel your body to do the activities that you're doing. Other way is to exercise more. Now, what exercises do you do? Literally any exercise that you wanna do, whether it's a sport, whether it's lifting weights, whether it's go on a treadmill, whether it's uh, play squash, doesn't really matter. At this point, we just speed up your metabolism for the purpose of using calories and burning calories. So one way is HIIT training. Now, HIIT training is probably one of the most effective ways of speeding your metabolism up more than any other training you can really do. And what is HIIT training? So that's basically bringing your heart rate up, then resting for an interval, then up, then resting again, then up the resting again. So for example, sprints on the treadmill, running for 30 seconds at a fast pace, and then jogging for one minute, or any, any sort of variation to that, or switch that around. Maybe jog or sprint for one minute, and then recover for 30 seconds, depending on how fit you are. That will speed up your metabolism far more efficiently than steady state training and that's basically keeping your heart level at the same pace for 30, 40 minutes and that's you know when you're seeing someone running on the treadmill for you know 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that's going to speed your metabolism up but not as well as HIIT training would. I know some personal trainers or some theories of, of eating do vary and I understand that. So for example people say if you're eating 2000 calories in six meals or you're eating 2,000 calories in two meals, there's no difference because you're, only, you're still getting 2,000 calories in that day from when you wake up to when you go to sleep and that's 100% true and that's correct. However, eating frequently speeds up your metabolism. So every two to three hours, your body's getting nutrients and food. So then what your body's gonna say is, oh, do you know what? I don't need to hold on to the calories and slow down my metabolism anymore because I'm getting food every few hours. Because if I eat really big and then I starve myself for eight hours, what happens there is your metabolism slows right down because your body's saying, right, this guy or girl ain't feeding me for uh, a long amount of time, so I'm gonna slow down because I wanna survive and I don't wanna use up all my calories. So eat little, eat often, and trust me, you will 
speed your metabolism up and become a calorie burning machine. Step three, weight train. Building muscle and lifting heavy weights burns fat. Simple, it's exactly what it does and that's why most people should lift weights. Not necessarily ridiculous heavy weights. Uh, just go to whatever your body is capable of doing, push it a little bit more and you will burn fat and promote muscle growth or muscle density and muscle tone, whatever definition you wanna use. Fact is that one pound of muscle, of lean muscle on the body, uses 50 calories on average per day to function. If you build 10 pounds of muscle in a year, your body now needs 500 more calories to function in that day so you don't lose weight for the next day. So that's your maintenance level will be increased by 500 calories. So that's the maths, right? So one pound of muscle, 50 calories. So that's why Building muscle, lean muscle, really does help and aid in burning body fat. Step four, what's that? That's five and a four, that's nine, dick. <laughs> Step four, or eight, but it's four. Sleep, why is it important to sleep when losing weight or burning body fat? How does it aid with burning body fat? All right, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you to go to sleep now and sleep as long as you can to burn body fat because that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it helps promote body fat being burnt through the day because if you're getting six to eight hours of sleep, you know, which is average sleep for you, usually eight hours is on average considered the right amount of sleep for someone, you're gonna repair your body a lot quicker and a lot better. Now, when your body's repaired more, the next day you're gonna have more energy. You're not gonna feel tired or fatigued. Therefore, your training's gonna be better and more intense. You're gonna have a lot more energy to then burn more calories. Now, when you sleep, I'm not gonna go into it you know, fully, just really briefly. Uh, it takes about six hours to enter REM sleep, rapid eye movement. And in that time, when you're at your peak of your human growth hormone, you're gonna repair your body a lot better, a lot quicker, your muscle will repair, and your cell regeneration will be most active at that time. And that's only brief, that's just touching on that, on that subject. Step five, the most important step, and that is to lose weight or body fat, you need to be in a calorie Deficit. What do I mean by that? If you've never heard that term before, it's basically eating less calories than you're burning. And mathematically, you will lose weight for the next day, right? Or burn body fat. There are ways of knowing what to eat and, and how to track your, your calorie intake and, and uh, whatever you're burning. So you need to work out your BMR. What is BMR? That's basically your basal metabolic rate. I think it's basal. Some people say basil, whatever. It's just the way it's spelled. Right, so you need to work that out. Now there's gonna be a link in the description where you're just gonna click on that, fill out a few boxes, your, your age, your, your current weight, and it's gonna give you a calorie amount that you will be having a day, and if you ate that many calories a day, and you don't do anything, and you're sitting on your backside all day, so how many calories you can have without putting on, or taking off any weight the next day, or burning any weight for the next day. So click on that after this video, work out what your um, BMR is, and then either add calories if you wanna put weight on, but in this video we wanna lessen your weight, so you need to take some calories off. So when you get your maintenance level of how many calories you need per day to lose weight or burn body fat, you need to take off two to 300 of that every day and you will reach your goal. So, but first of all, you need to find out what your maintenance levels are in order to do that. And also you can track your food and your calorie intake and I use MyFitnessPal, probably the best app to use. So there'll be a link in the description for that too. It's on your phone, it's in the Play Store, it's on the App Store. That way you can track your progress and how many calories you're eating every day. And basically that's it guys, that's five easy steps. I know it's a bit more of an explanation for each one. I hope it all made sense to you. Please comment in the description if there's any other ways that would be beneficial to lose weight um, and it will help my uh, subscribers out. Out and yeah share this video guys that's it from flash fitness for another midweek episode uh, on general fitness uh, I'm Chris Vangelo and yeah please like and share this video and it'll be amazing if you can subscribe thanks guys have a great day